Okay, I'm going to take a little look-see at uh, Gordon Ramsay's 10 millionth subscriber burger recipe with Sean uh, Evans, which is the guy from, I believe it is Hot Ones on First We Feast. Anyway, let's take out, let's check out this uh, recipe. First of all, would like to say a big thank you for helping me pass 10 million, 10 million subscribers on YouTube. Um, why have we got to 10 million? Because it's you watching those incredible videos. Um, how do I pay this? I'm going to keep up the incredible work and more importantly, start creating even more content to get to 20 million. But thank you, honestly, um, I'm blessed because 10 million people. That's a lot of viewers in my kitchen, let me tell you. So um, I'd like to take this moment and apologize for absolutely nothing. And to help celebrate 10 million, <laughs> what I'm gonna do for you now is the most amazing burger. Cause you know I love burgers, right? Uh, when they said I was mad seven years ago, I opened a burger store in Vegas at Planet Hollywood. Um, again, I silenced those critics by creating something unique. We finished those burgers with Devonshire butter. So I put this amazing mix together now and it's a 85% chuck and a 15% brisket. But I took some blocks of butter, froze it, and then grated the butter into the burger. So we're gonna get that nice, rich, buttery, smooth flavor inside that delicious burger. Oh boy, another thing for me to try. Cause I tried the uh, frozen cream, or uh, frozen blue cheese uh, that I kind of stole from uh, Chef John, and it actually worked. Uh, the cheddar, the frozen cheddar cheese, no. But the blue cheese actually did uh, did stay solid long enough. Now the secret behind any great burger is in the grill. Crank that thing up high, okay? Always close that lid, okay? Keep it down, that gets the max amount of heat in there. Once you've blended the burger, season it beautifully and then shape it. So you have a grill the size of fucking Texas to grill two burgers. That is awesome. Okay, I quite like a nice sort of thin pate and a nice wide girth spread. The thicker the burger, the harder it is to get the temperature cooked perfectly inside. So be smart. Nicely seasoned, salt, pepper. I've got a little bit of garlic powder, okay? Now, you've seen me cook burgers many times, but I've, I've, I've done something different with this one because I'm gonna fry an egg like you've never seen before because I'm gonna fry this egg inside a mushroom and put this beautiful bacon, egg, mushroom, burger together. Turn over the seasoning. You can see those little bits of butter there literally helping to make that pate even more moist. Now, once this seasoned beautifully, Again, salt, pepper. I open at the top of the pepper mill to get larger flecks of pepper in there, okay? On, and then again, a little dusting of the powder. Okay, I'm gonna lightly brush with a touch of olive oil. That'll melt beautifully with the butter. Lid up. Don't go too high a heat to begin with, okay? Keep it really nice and literally central. Now that initial crackle, okay, that's just the butter. Don't worry about that, okay? Little brush of olive oil on top, okay? And let them cook. Now, alongside that, I'm gonna take my mushrooms, season those mushrooms, again, salt and pepper, inside, large flecks of pepper, okay? A nice little... Uh, sorry, it's, uh, it's not a Reichland video glaze of olive oil that'll help break down the mushroom these are beautiful mushrooms and the flavor in these things are incredible okay i want them turned inside out like that there and there now pull the lid down get the temperature back up into those burgers okay and let that get really nice and hot now my buns never underestimate the importance of a great bun okay um, the secret is to make sure, okay, that you do not get that bread soggy. A light sprinkling of olive oil, salt, pepper. I want to toast the buns. That protects the actual burger and stops the whole thing from becoming soggy. Turn that around and toast. Whilst the plane's coming over, I'll flip that burger. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look, get that soft butter, okay? And just literally lightly brush that butter on there. That's gonna give the pate a really nice caramelization. And the secret behind these pates is do not 
keep on flipping them, okay? The more you flip them, okay, the more they're going to break. But get that sear on there. Really yeah, I, I kind of disagree with that. It's important. Now, the mushrooms. Have a look at these. Now, that can happen. It kind of depends on what you're what you're doing and again i don't know if the because i've never done the frozen butter thing i don't know if that would affect anything i do remember when i did the blue cheese some of those burgers i had to kind of gently flip okay i'm grilling these mushrooms beautifully okay and you can see that that's true and i think i used a griddle Matter of fact, shrinkage now starting to take place, but the good news is they are piping hot. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just quickly move my burger over to there. That's nice and juicy. So I'll put the burgers up there to rest. They'll continue cooking, but look, that is piping hot there. Okay, you get your egg. This is where this burger is going to go up a different level. Crack the egg and literally crack that on top of that mushroom. Look, crack. And this, children, is why I will never be vegan. And then very carefully, lightly season those eggs. On, alongside that. I'm gonna stick my bacon, okay? Now, bacon, get that nice and crispy. Uh, be very careful when you do this or your grill can turn into an inferno. Not saying don't do it, I'm just saying be careful. Yes, sir. I like dressing this burger. Take that sriracha. Two thirds mayonnaise and one third sriracha. Okay. From there, I'm going to beautifully dress the bun nicely. Uh, dude, okay. the, the bacon. And this is where they start sort of going. Like, no, seriously, it goes that quick. I, I learned a very painful lesson the first time I did bacon wrapped brats. It's a different level. Dressing on top and a dressing underneath, okay? Always keep the base towards you, okay? To protect the bun, I've got some nice fresh arugula. And because of the. Dude, your temp's way over. Fatty richness in this burger. I realize I'm telling this to a Michelin star chef who could probably blow me out of the fucking water, but I'm seeing that temp cage on your grill rise. I'm going to need dressing. So I put the arugula on there to help protect the bread and give that nice little... Like I said, that's why, that's why I've always said, if you want to make bacon wrap brats, uh, I'll link my recipe in, uh, in the description below, but uh, you have to go indirect. Get, get yourself a charcoal grill. Up until fucking California decides to ban them for some reason. And hell, they're going to ban propane grills too. We'll just be sitting there with those sweet ass electric ones. Ava. Now from there, take your tomatoes. And slice them nice and thinly. And look. Beautifully done. On top, keeping that nice and round. Really important to season the burger every step of the way. Really important to get that ready before the burgers come out. Now, my cheese. Start getting ready with that cheese. You can see. Oh, we got the bacon out of there. Getting really nice and done. Look, it started to melt beautifully over that incredible burger. The bacon. I'll take the bacon off, okay? And then literally just cut that up. Damn it! Pineapple does not belong on a pizza. To those of you that like pineapple on a pizza, you are evil and wrong. Okay, so hold that bacon 
together. I want to chop the bacon up nicely. Get that bacon really nice and crispy. And then from there, I want to sprinkle some of that chopped bacon on that mayo and the rest on top of the tomatoes. So this is a really nice crispy bacon base with a crispy bacon topping. Now for the exciting part. Look at those eggs. First off, lift my burger, sit that on top of my bun. But wait, I told you we're 10 million subscribers. I'm not done yet. Now, I like my egg quite runny. If you like it sort of over easy, then leave it in there. But that for me is beautiful. Now, look at that. The flat cap mushroom with the beautiful baked egg. And that one's gone to medium, which is fine. And that one there. Oh boy. Okay, just just for giggles. Should I try to redo this on Dave's cooking show? Look at that. A nice, beautiful twist of pepper. And then from there, on she goes. Oh, my Lord. Well, come on. That has to be a burger worth celebrating. 10 million subscribers. From the bottom of my burger, a big thank you to all of you. Now, I know there's someone out there that's dying to taste this. Gordon, thank you so much. I'm honored to try your 10 What the fuck is that? Burger. I think it might have gotten damaged a little bit in transport, but still looks delicious. I just think it's it's missing something. Like maybe a donut, no. Or lemon and lime juice, no. Uh, I know. Need some hot sauce, baby. Dab it up. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's how I like it. <clears throat> now that's a burger. So glad you enjoyed it. But honestly, Sean, seriously, do you honestly think we need fucking hot sauce on my burger? Are you kidding me? All of you, thank you so much. God bless. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. How can I make this a contest? Um, tell you what. If I if I get uh, if I get two new one dollar patrons, I'll uh, I'll uh, in like I don't know uh, by m Monday. I'll uh, or by by. By Tuesday at noon, I'll uh, I'll recreate this burger. Anyway, uh, I guess that wraps up this one. Yeah, not a bad burger. Um, I, not a bad burger. The uh, the only thing I would do differently is I'd probably keep the bacon whole. Um, and. I generally like chipotle mayo over sriracha mayo. That's just me. But anyway, uh, yeah, that ends this one. Uh, good video. See how much more enjoyable it is to watch somebody cooking that knows what the fuck they're doing versus some pompous New England asshat that doesn't know what the fuck he's doing.